In August 1997, Harry and William were vacationing in Scotland with their father. Harry was 12, William 15. They were asleep at Balmoral Castle on August 31st when Harry was awakened by his father, who told him his mother had been in a car crash in Paris. In the book you write, he says, they tried, darling boy, I'm afraid she didn't make it. <laughs> These phrases remain in my mind like darts in a board, you say. Did, did you cry? No. I never shed a single tear at that point. I was in shock. You know, you're 12 years old, sort of 7, 7.30 in the morning, early. Your father comes in, sits on your bed, puts his hand on your knee and tells you there's been an accident. Um, I, I couldn't believe and you write in the book that Pa didn't hug me. He wasn't great at showing emotions under normal circumstances, but his hand did fall once more on my knee, and he said, it's going to be okay. But after that, nothing was okay for a long time. No, nothing, nothing was okay. Harry says his memories of the next few days are fragmented, but he does remember this, greeting mourners outside Kensington Palace in London the day before his mother's funeral. When you see those videos now, what do you think? I think it's bizarre because I see William and me smiling. I remember the guilt that I felt. Guilt about? The fact that the people that we were meeting were showing more emotion than we were showing. Maybe more emotion than we even felt. They were crying, but you weren't. There was a lot of tears. And I talk about how wet people's hands were. And I couldn't understand it at first. Their hands were wet. Their hands were wet from wiping their own tears away. I do remember one of the strangest parts to it was taking flowers from people and then placing those flowers with the rest of them as if I was some sort of middle person for their grief. And that really stood out for me. The funeral on a cool September morning was watched by as many as two and a half billion people around the world. Perhaps the most indelible image, Prince Harry and his brother walking behind their mother's casket on its way to Westminster Abbey. What do you remember about that walk? How quiet it was. I remember the occasional wail and screaming of someone. I remember the horse hooves on the road. The bridles of the horses, the gun carriage, the wheels, the occasional gravel stone underneath your shoe, but mainly the, the silence. After the service, Princess Diana's body was brought for burial to her family's ancestral estate, Althorpe. Once my mother's coffin actually went into the ground, that was the first time that I actually cried. Yeah, there was never another time. All through your teenage years, you, d you didn't cry about it? No. 